Hello, people. How are you? Um, a recap for some, a uh, continuation for others, and a first time for, well, maybe somebody else. So, we've spent some time talking about pendulums, or we're going to spend some time talking about pendulums for a specific reason. We have been talking about energy uh, and different forms of energy, and the motion of a pendulum is a great way to look or to investigate different instants and to look at what forms of energy exist. So let's sort of arbitrarily name these instants one, two, and three, and let's make an assumption about uh, instant one. Well, at instant one, let's assume this is top of swing. Uh, maybe even a maybe even a release point, but maybe not. Maybe this thing has swung up and gotten to position one, and then is about to swing back. All right. Either way, it's the top of its swing over there. Nothing really special about instant two, but instant three. Um, you know, per the orientation of this of this string, um, instant three is the um, bottom of. Swing. Okay, so what does this mean um, from, from a couple of simple assumptions? What can we uh, conclude about energies at different instants or about transformations of energy from instant to instant? All right, and when I say instant, what I mean is an immeasurably small amount of time. Um, well, almost like even when you take a picture, right? That's not an immeasurably small amount of time. It might be like, you know, uh, um, um, a four hundredth of a second or something like that. It's a pretty small amount of time. Well, an instant is so small that it's immeasurably small. All right? But even taking pictures, we're able to capture an instant almost, right? Not really, but you get the idea. It's a little tiny amount of time. Um, so, what can we surmise? about energies at different instants. Well, um, instant one, all right, top of the swing. That actually tells us something else about what's happening. But if we just say top of the swing, well, that means, I'll say A, K, A, H, max, maximum height. And as we've talked about, we can write an expression for gravitational potential energy of the pendulum earth system as m g h so if h is a maximum well by definition that must mean that u u g is at a max at instant one this is the highest gravitational potential energy that the earth pendulum system can have and right bottom of swing a.k.a. H minimum, that must mean that U, G, the gravitational potential energy of the pendulum Earth system, is by definition at its minimum. And at instant two, it's somewhere in the middle. It's less than instant one, it's more than instant three. We can't really, we certainly can't quantify it. Qualitatively, we can just say it's more than three, or less than one. Now, what we have to be able to you know, unfortunately, there's no animation here, but what you have to imagine is a pendulum swinging back and forth and swinging back and forth continuously. We're saying this thing is, um, you know, just doing what a pendulum does. All right, so we have to be able to say, based on what we know about how high up this thing is or where it is, what else can we tell? Well, what you might be able to imagine is, you know, in whatever order, Let's start with instant three. When this thing gets to the bottom of its swing, well, it's been speeding up for this whole part of the swing. As it starts to come back up this way later on, it slows down the whole time. But that must mean that at instant three, we have our maximum speed. And at the top of this swing, at the top, you know, at the maximum height, there is, again, an instant where this thing stops, turns around. I'm not saying it stops, waits, checks its watch, turns around, and then starts going again. 
It stops instantaneously, but then turns around. All right? There is an instant when this thing is not moving. And, you know, that's just purely comes from the fact that the object changes direction. Changes in direction necessitate at least an instantaneous stop. So that means up here we can say that there is a V minimum. Well, as we know, speeds are part of what dictates how much kinetic energy a particle can have. So that must mean that at the top, uh, kinetic energy of this particle, of this pendulum, what we call pendulum bob, is at a minimum. And at the bottom, K must have a maximum value. And one of these we can actually quantify. We know we should be able to, we can say that, um, well, V min is really, V is zero. And so actually we can say that K is, we can quantify that K is zero at the top. And what that allows us to say is, you know, sorry, instant two in here, well, what's K? It's something more than zero, it's something less than the maximum. Not much to say there. But this allows us to sort of also talk about, um, you know, general perhaps transformations, or maybe we say, you know, as we go from one to three, UG goes from max to min, so UG decreases. Uh, that says decreases. And K goes from min to max, so that means that K increases. Or you could say, you know, if you go the other way, from 3 to 1, that U increases. From 3 to 1, that K decreases. All right, so nice to be able to look at um, both what we can characterize about an instant or how we can look at a process over time um, and what, what happens to a certain amount of energy. Now, the only other thing that we might be able to say if we make the choice, and especially with gravitational potential energies, we have a choice we can make, we might decide to call that height h equals zero. I'll say this, like, uh, you want to call this h equals zero, question mark? Well, if you do, the only other thing you might be able to say is you might be able to say, you want to decide to call that UG zero? You can. If no one dictates for you where to measure gravitational potential energies relative to, you get to choose yourself. And a lot of times, the lowest point an object or a system is at uh, is a convenient place to call height zero. Okay? So, um, that's a, like I said, for some a recap, for some a continuation, for some um, a very preliminary first investigation of energies in Pendula. Uh, and there you go. See you soon.